Today, I'm going to show you how to design and launch your very own web font with something called Font Self Catapult. And yes, this is the type we are going to design. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon of course, Cetro. So today I'm taking a look at Font Self and this is a product that I've covered a couple other times on my channel and it's been very, very popular. So definitely go to my channel search and search for font and you'll find uh, where I cover this software. It is awesome. It basically allows you to very quickly and easily take your font designs in either Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and then uh, export them as actual fonts. Now they recently just released something called Font Self Catapult which allows you to take those same fonts and then use them on the web. They also make it very easy to use on CodePen or Behance, uh, in, on your websites. Uh, they have a mobile app even where you can use your fonts. It's very cool. I'm going to show you how to do all of that. Um, so also make sure you take advantage of the offer. The first link here in this, uh, the YouTube description, uh, you click on that and you will get 10% off and you can purchase it for either Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm going to be using Illustrator for this. So make sure you do that and then you can follow along right with me with this tutorial where I show you how to create uh, a really cool font uh, and how to use it on all these different mediums. All right, so let's get started. I decided to create a time lapse out of the actual design process of the font to save time, but I did upload it as an unlisted YouTube video at regular speed and it's only around 10 minutes. So just check out the YouTube description for that link. What we'll do now, um, first I'm gonna, um, I'll take these, yeah, we'll rename them afterwards. What I want you to do is after you have font self, we go to window, we go to extensions and font self. Make sure that's open. We'll go ahead and drag it over, or get our uh, panel up here. And we wanna uh, first also open up the font template. All right, so you may be wondering, what is this thing? So if I just get this off screen for a second, this is a, uh, a template that you can use to help situate and organize all of your characters. Um, I've covered this before in a different tutorial several months ago. Um, but basically what we'll do is we're going to drag our characters from here and then just put them right in here. We could drag it from here. There we go. And you can see they're way too large, so we can scale them down. Shift and Alt, we'll scale from the center. And then we just place them in here uh, in a U and the N and the O. Um, and this is just for organizational purposes. The only thing that you really need to make sure is that inside of your artwork here, we name this as a N and a U and an O. The, the layer names are important here, and you'll see why in a second. So now we're just going to uh, get these aligned up where they need to be. So let's find um, our U. By the way, I think I'll just take all these. And that way I scale them all and they're all gonna be the same height when I get these scaled in. All right, so uh, we'll scale this down just a bit. Right there looks actually pretty good to me in terms of the height of the U that we're looking at. Getting that kind of centered in there. That's fine right there. Okay, cool. All right, so now once you have them into place, we take all three and select them, these layers right here, and we drag them right here into the font self panel. Right there. Please select some shapes. Yep, you might want to do that first. There we go. Now they're all selected. All right. So now it has imported them, and we could see in the preview here, caps lock, because we did the upper space, uh, the, the, the capital characters. So there we go. We have our U, N, and O. Awesome. So now there's a lot of other different things that you can adjust per character, such as the letter spacing, uh, the line spacing, 
We can adjust the scale up here just to see a little bit better. You can go to advanced and there's a lot of other features here that I'm just not going to cover right now because uh, they're not pertinent to the, the purpose of this tutorial, which is um, web fonts. Before we get to the web font part, which is Catapult, you can save this now as an OTF file on your computer and install it. That's how easy it is. It, it just exports it very, very quickly. Um, after that, if you want, you can now catapult this. So you can use your font online with font self catapult. So we have to give it a name. All right. And I'll just call this um, DC shatter. I don't know. <laughs> DC for design course, by the way, I'll hit okay. And it's going to do some work here. Yes, your font has been catapulted. Now pick a browser to view your font on the web. All right. So I'm just going to click on view and default browser. And it's showing up on my other monitor for a second. All right. So now you're taken to catapult.fontself.com with your own uh, unique identifier for your uh, your font here. And you can see because we didn't create a full uh, character set, it's jumbling it up with a bunch of other stuff. What's really cool here, you can change, uh, you can you can take the color of the text itself, for instance, if you want to make it yellow, background black. You know, it's just, it just gives you options just to, to see your font in action. And of course you can edit it. And now it's a, you know, basically a web font. The important part here to, to pay attention to is you can now use your font in a variety of different ways. So you can use your font on, on their iOS app, which I will show you. So here's the app installed on my mother's iPhone. I don't actually have an iPhone, um, but it installed perfectly fine. And um, this is the onboarding process. So I haven't even gone past this part yet. Um, but as you can see, you can express yourself with colorful fonts. So it's an app that allows you to do multiple things. This is uh, one of them. You can also send your messages across your favorite apps uh, with the uh, your custom font. Um, you can also pick creative fonts right within iMessage and you could share fonts with the friends that you just love so much. All right, as seen here, we could type U and N and O. And sweet, there it is. So now we can go here uh, and we can adjust uh, certain things about it. Like, uh, let's see, the size. We can also see, we can change the alignment and give it a certain color if we want. I'll make it white and then We'll change the background to black. Awesome, awesome stuff. So then we can click this and you can send them all through different apps and such. Very, very cool. As seen here, the app includes a set of free fonts that you can use right away. And this is an exclusive sneak peek for you guys. It will soon feature a growing library of free fonts and you can already submit your designs via Catapult to be included in the store. You can use it on your website, on your Behance, uh, WordPress and your newsletter and you can even demo it on CodePen very very quickly all right so if I go to on your website all right I uh, and I you first have to put in I uh, up to five domains where I uh, you whitelist them and this is for protecting your web font so I uh, if you only wanted to to run on your localhost development environment then you could put in localhost here um, sometimes I, it might be 127.0.0.1, um, maybe your site, I'll put corsetro.com. And these are the, the areas that would be able to uh, load the font from the font self server. So now I hit apply and now it's going to give us uh, instructions on how to use it, which of course is very, very simple. All right, so now I'm gonna open up a code editor in locally in my local development environment and show you just how easy um, this is to get working. All right, so I have a, a blank folder in my code uh, projects folder called Catapult. And there's nothing in it, so let's go ahead and create an index.html file. I'm using Visual Studio Code, by the way. Um, we're gonna create a CSS folder with a main.scss for SAS. Uh, file right here. I'm using a SAS extension, um, which you can uh, get from this section over here, extensions. And you see I'm using the live SAS compiler. That's the one you want to click install and then reload uh, your Visual Studio Code with. Go back to our folder here. In index.html, I'm going to hit exclamation for some quick boilerplate HTML. 
call this catapult. And let's uh, go back to our um, the directions real quickly. Uh, so first, the, the first thing you have you have several options though in terms of how you want to get this working. Um, so the first is if you you can copy and paste this widget here code into the head element of your HTML page. We'll just do this. You could also optionally use the import URL, paste it. Then next we'll go back real quick. Then we can apply the font family here to our various CSS elements. All right. So uh, you can optionally just add a class right there as well. So I'm just going to copy this H1 font family. Oops, wrong place. What am I doing? So we'll just do H1 font family is DC shatter hyphen regular. So we're, we're targeting the selector of H1, which doesn't yet exist. So for our H1 element, I'm going to put in, and by the way, they give you the HTML for this. I'm going to put in first, I'm going to say content editable equals true. That means we'll be able to actually clip, click and change the type. And we're also going to put in uh, spell check false because sometimes it'll underline it. It makes it look ugly. All right. And then finally, don't want to forget this part. Uh, we need to link our main.css. So CSS main.css, and then also save that and click on this SAS file after you have the live extension loaded and click on watch SAS. I like that. Then finally, we'll right click in open with live server. This is another extension that you can install. Just type in live server over here and then click install and then reload it real quick. Um, and then you can right click open with live server and it should show us our new font and there it is looks really tiny but as you can see it's editable uno and now we can use it like any other web font in our projects all right so just for the fun of it i'm going to create a little bit of a time lapse uh, where i make this look really interesting um, i'll make the code available by the way through code pen um, if you want to see and figure out exactly what i did And there we go, some clever CSS. Uh, and by the way, I did use um, a, somebody else's code pen for this sort of effect, which I, I slightly adjusted, but I'm gonna link that in the YouTube description just for you guys to find out, along with the code pen exactly with this, so you can check it out on your own. Very, very cool stuff. And so going back here, if you wanted to try it out on code pen, uh, if we just click on this, we have to add codepen.io to the whitelist and it'll do it for you automatically. Um, and then all you have to do is first create a pen. So you have to be logged in and have an account, of course. And there we go. We can see it's already showing up. So U, N, and O. Very, very quick and easy to do it through that route as well. I also on Behance, you can try this option. I never even tried this option yet. So I'm hoping it works quite quickly. So edit the text, color, and preview your fonts. I uh, press share preview. So I have it set how I want here in the preview. I can click share preview. All right, so we'll copy this. All right, and then we'll go to Behance and we'll create a project. All right, and perhaps this would be embed media. Hit embed. Oh, nice, and there it is. And that's how we can very easily use it on Behance as well. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. And now you, you finally have the ability to create your very own font, save the font to your computer and use it like any other font and also use it on the web. So definitely make sure to check out uh, the 10% the off link that I have here and get yourself a copy. All right, see you guys later.